All right, here we go. Final countdown by a band called Europe. Why is it the final countdown? Last section of the chapter 2.4, combined like terms of distributed property. Let's take a look at that band, though. Uh, you know, that band Europe was actually originally started by the Algebros. They were, uh, uh, you can check them out right there. There's the lead man right there. Mr. Kelly was the lead man. We got Mr. Sullivan here on the side and Mr. Brust. Unfortunately, we were called, like, Europe, like, it's your turn, Europe. Uh, we didn't really catch on, didn't make it big. They changed the name to more like the continent, like, you know, like, Europe. And that's when they made it big without us. So the algebra is Mr. Mark again. Um, so Europe versus Europe. Don't freak out about the hair. It was the 80s, you know. I know it's freaky now, but back then it was, it was, uh, it was the thing. So... Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, Mr. Kelly still has that coat. Maybe he'll wear it to, to school one day. Ask him. All right, I can't look at that picture anymore. Let's get rid of that picture. Get it out of here. Let's do some math. Man, that is a slow fade. I need those <laughs> that hair to disappear. Awesome. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at uh, what's happening here in 2.4. Let's get rolling on this and talk about we're combining like terms and distributive properties. So this one's a little bit tricky. We're going to use this the rest of the year. So really take your time um, practicing this. Make sure you got it because it's not going to go away. We need to have this every single section for the rest of the year. Great skill. Let's talk about this. So let's look at this expression. Can we simplify an expression with variables? So we've got two x's here. We've got three x's here. We've got five as a number. Can we combine this all together? Uh, yes, we can. That is the answer. Uh, here we go. If we look at this, if this box over here represents x, so it's, uh, I don't know how wide or how long, it's just x. So really you can say something like this. Hey, I have two x's here, and then I have a minus 5. So really, if I look at this, this is a 1 by 1 square here. So it's it's 1 by 1, and it's red because it's negative. So really, I'm going to build this expression using these little blocks here. These are called algebra tiles, and you can uh, borrow these anytime you want. So this is what I'm looking at. I've got five of these negative ones. I've got two of these x's, plus I've got three more of these x's. So this is what it looks like if I were going to try to build this by hand. I just built the expression. Boom, there it is. So don't let's not look so much at this. This is just where I was pulling from. This is the expression. So can I combine them all together? Sure. How many x's do I have here? I've got one, two, three, four, five total x's. And you can put them all together if you wanted. Nothing changed here, so I've got minus five. So this is the simplified version. What did I do? All I did was combine all my x's. I put them together so that I have my five x's next to my number. So this is a pretty nice, easy example to get us going. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine like terms. I added 2x plus 3x together. What happened? They turned into 5x right here. N minus 5 had no one to mix with, so he just stayed minus 5. So there's my simplified version. All right, not too bad. It's going to get a little trickier, though. Let's try the next one. And let's only look at the top half here. Um, oops. Oh, my gosh. What is going on here? just the top half. So could I build this one? So here are my tools. Can I build this? Yeah, we can, but do we need to do that? Do I want to build all that out? It looks like a lot of work. Let's just see if we can do it without these tiles. If you want the tiles, go talk to Mr. Kelly, Mr. Sullivan, or myself. We'll hook you up. But let's take a look at it. I have three X's here, so what I do is I circle them and take the sign in front. Does X have a match anywhere? Sure, here's X's. And take the sign in front. This is really a negative 5X. This is where it gets to make Is that a subtraction sign or a negative sign? It's just, it just means it's, it's moving in the negative direction. So I've got 3x minus 5x. Combine those together. What is 3x minus 5x? Well, it's minus 2x. And if you've got to use a calculator, use a calculator. Make sure you get that answer right. Then what? Well, let me change colors here. I've got this. I've got negative 2. Does he have a partner? Sure. This plus 6 here. <coughs> Excuse me. Combine those together. What is negative 2 plus 6? It is plus 4. So this is my final answer here. I combined like terms, I combine my x's, I combine my numbers. So we can do this uh, as long as it's the same. Let's try another example. Jot this one down. Uh, I tried to throw some, instead of just random letters like x and y, let's try c. So we've got my cats, c, I got my dogs here. So here you can see definitely you got to keep your cats together. I've got six cats here. Use the sign in front, so I circle them. That's minus four cats. So they can combine my cats. Six cats minus four cats is what? Two cats. 
Then let's say I've got plus three dogs. Minus, if it's not written here, what does it mean? It means one dog. It's, it's there. It's just one dog. We don't usually write the one in there, but I'm minusing a dog. So what is plus three dogs minus one dog? That's going to be plus two dogs. So you can't combine cats and dogs. They're different. Uh, so I'll keep my cats together. I'll keep my dogs together. No such thing as a cat dog. Oh, wait a minute. Unless you look at this picture right here, there is a cat dog. But this doesn't exist in real life, so that's why we can't combine our C's and our D's. Let me see if I can find a better example, uh, something you definitely can't combine. Um, let's look, combine like terms then. Again, definitely not something. Let's just pick these letters here. I just use C and F, so I just said, hey, this is my chicken. This is my fries. Um, so you can't combine chicken and fries. Like, you can't do it. Oh, my goodness. You can't combine chicken and fries. Maybe you shouldn't combine chicken and fries. They have chicken fries at Burger King. Not a good example. Check that out. 48 grams of fat in the 12-piece meal, and it's worth it. It's a great meal. Uh, wow. Let's not use pictures. Then. We don't need tiles. We don't need pictures. We don't need anything. We can just go straight to it. Check it out. I've got 5C right here. Are there any more Cs? Sure. There's minus 8C. So begin with the signs. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. If you're struggling, use your calculator. If you uh, to double check, put those signs in if you're feeling good without it. That's great. I've got 12F. Remember, I take the sign up front and the 3F. So how many total Fs do I have? I have 15 Fs. Um, then I'm left with this minus 30. Here, I'll use a circle. Any other numbers? Sure, there's a number right here. So I've got minus 30 plus 7. Combine them. I'm looking at minus 23. So my simplified form is this. I'm just combining like terms. I can only add them together. Um, you can't combine C and F's with this. Fantastic. All right, let's try a couple here. So uh, we've got a, this first example here, combine like time terms. I'm sorry, we've got we've got 5R. Are there any more R's out there? Yes, here's one. So I circle it and take the sign in front. There's plus 12R. So let's put those together. 5R plus 12R is what? Well, we got 17 R's. And we've got this minus 8 right here. We've got a minus 20 right here. They're the same. They're just numbers. So I can combine those together. Minus 8 minus 20 is minus 28. So if you got to use your calculator, use your calculator. That's the final answer for that one. We're good to go. How about this one? Starting with W. So I see that I started the W. Are there any more W's out there? Negative 3 W. Aha. Plus 12 W. Yes. They're a match. I can combine them. What is negative 3 plus 12? Negative 3 plus 12 is 9. So I've got 9 W's. Then I've got these, this plus 10 right here, this minus 3. Can I combine those? Sure, plus 10, minus 3, plus 7. Fantastic. So if you can keep it organized, it's not, a, it's not too bad. Going to get a little bit trickier here. So now I've got a couple things going on. I've got X's and Y's and numbers. We can handle it. No worries. So let's start with this. Are there any more X's out there? 8X, aha, plus 6X. So right off the bat, there's a match. 8X plus 6X, what is that? That is 14X's. Now go to my Y's. I'll change colors here. This will be a nice color-coded one. I've got minus 12 Y. Are there any more Y's out there? Aha, at the very end, I've got plus 8 Y's. So let's bring those together. What is minus 12 Y plus 8 Y? Minus 4 Y. So you got to be careful with your signs here. And then what's left over? He has no friends, no one to add to or subtract to. He's just plus 4, so we'll put him at the end. Plus 4. This is your final answer. 14 X minus 4 Y plus plus four. Excellent. And then the last one here. What about this? I've got 5s minus 6s squared. Are they the same? Are they exactly like? No, they're not. S is different than s squared. Very, very different. So I can only take him to another s. Is there another plain s? Yes, at the end. And it's just a 1s. There's only one of them there. So put those together. We're looking at 6s. And now look at this minus 6s squared. Are there any more s squareds out there? Right here it is. Put those together. Minus 6 minus 3 is a minus 9. So we've got minus 9s squared. Plus 4 again has no friends. Nobody put that together with. Uh, so we'll just bring them down. Plus 4. Fantastic. So there is the final simplified version. Excellent. Very good. It's the final countdown. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So what else is in here? Well, let's take a look at this. 
old school translations. We did this a while back. Uh, twice the sum of a number in two. How do I write that? Well, I know that sum means add. And a number is a variable. I'll call it n. And so I'm going to add n and 2. The question is, where does the twice go? i got to use parentheses, the whole thing. Twicing this whole parentheses. Excellent. So what do I do here? Can I simplify this at all? Sure, we definitely can. Now let's take a look at how and why and what we can do. I'm going to kind of come off here to the side a little bit. Let's say I had something a little bit easier to look at. Maybe I had 2 times 4 plus 1. Something like this. Can you simplify this? Sure. Order of operations start in parentheses. I'm going to say 4 plus 1 is 5, so I'm going to say 2 times 5. Well, what's 2 times 5? It's 10. Awesome. But there's an alternative way to solve this problem. If we have 2 times 4 plus 1, another way to do it is say, since I'm twicing everything in here, it is legal, totally legit, to say 2 times everything in here. This is called... Da, 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 da. Oh, my goodness. Where'd it go? There it is. It's called the distributive property. I'm distributing the 2 to everybody. It gets uh, Everyone gets twice as big, so 2 times 4, I make it twice as big as 8. 2 times 1 is 2, so it would, 8 plus 2 is 10. See how we got the same answer? 10 is 10. So it works. What's great about that? Well, you probably prefer this first method, but check this out. Can I add n and 2 together? Do they add? No, they're not like terms. I can't combine those together. So what do I got to do? got to distribute that too. So I really got to say 2 times each one of these. So really 2 times n is 2n. 2 times 4, or I'm sorry, 2 times 2 gives me what? 4. So really the simplified version of the blue one is this right here. We have now simplified it much easier to work with. So what is the def definition distributive property? If you want to pause, write that down. We're just taking the quantity outside the parentheses and we're going to distribute or multiply it to everything inside of the parentheses. Love it. Very important property. We're going to use this all the time for the rest of your mathematical career. Distribute all the time. Let's try a couple together, then we'll have you try four, and then we are good to go here. Um, can I distribute Is it if it's after? Is that going to freak you out? Uh, it's not a problem. We can say, what? It's four times this. Everything in here is four times bigger. Remember, there's like a little dot in here that says multiply. We don't write it, but it's the quantity the whole parentheses times the outside. So I'm going to say 4 times 3h is 12h. Then I'm going to say 4 times 6 is 24. So it can be before or after the parentheses. Not a problem. Holy cow, look at number 2. There is a lot going on here. But let's just start order of operations. It says parentheses. Can I add 5x and 2? Can't do it. So what can I do? Well, this is 3 times. Remember, there's a little dot here. 3 times this. So I'm going to distribute the 3. First things first. So 3 times 5x is 15x. Then I'm going to say 3 times 2 is 6. Just bring down everything else because I can't combine 2x and 4. And now it looks like it combined like terms problems. I'm going to go ahead and change colors here. Um, now I've got 15x plus 2x. I'm looking at 17x. Then I've got plus 6 plus 4 gives me plus 10. So really I'm going back and doing what we did in the first part, combine like terms after I distribute. Here's where we run into problems. The most common mistake that I run into all the time is, whew, let's just try it and we'll see where it comes up. Can I start order of operations in the parentheses? 2n minus 5 can't combine like terms. I'm going to distribute this 3, but hold on. Check this out. This is technically a negative 3. It's like plus a minus 3. That is a negative 3 out there. So when you distribute, the negative sign comes with it. A lot of times people forget that negative sign. It changes all your numbers and gives you the wrong answer. Not so good. So the 8 stays in front there. I'm going to take negative 3 times 2 and get negative 6n, m. Negative 3 times negative 5 is a positive 15. Now from there, can I go ahead and combine like terms? Here we go. Sure, we've got 8, we've got 15. Combine them, that's 23. And the 6 m comes down minus 6m. So just be very, very careful with uh, that negative sign in front. Most common mistake. All right, let's wrap this bad boy up. Try these four right here. See how it goes. Pause it right now, and then I'm just going to work my way through it. Pause it, try it, compare answers with me, uh, and then you'll be ready to go for a book work and mastery check. So uh, here you go. Hopefully you're done working them. All right, here are the answers worked out for you. I kind of showed step by step what's going on. So take a second, 
um, to make sure that your answers match up with mine. I hope they went well. Uh, if so, you're good to go. You can do a little more practice, application, mastery check. I'm gonna end you with a little video here. Uh, good luck. Peace out. Keep it real. Hey, check out that chicken. <laughs> he thinks he's a French fry. Hey, chicken. You got a lot of nerve hanging around with those French fries, man. Maybe you want to be a French fry, huh? <laughs> Maybe I do. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe you do. <laughs> Maybe I do. Maybe you do. Maybe I do. Yeah. Maybe you do. Okay. Maybe I do. Yeah. Maybe you do. Yeah. Maybe you do, man. Maybe I do want to be a French fry. PK Chicken Fries, all white meat chicken with the courage to be French fries.